The first thing you see when you log into WordPress is the dashboard. There's quite a bit of useful information available on the dashboard. Unfortunately, sometimes there can be too much and it can be a bit overwhelming. In this video, I'll walk you through the dashboard and show you the secret to customizing the dashboard to meet your needs. And this is the first thing you see when you log in. Here's the dashboard right at the top on the side menu. And of course, you see the dashboard in the middle and you've got this helpful welcome greeting that uh, orients you to WordPress and gets you off on the right foot with your new blog. And you may not want to see this uh, every time you log in because as you start to learn more about WordPress, you don't need so much help. And the way to get rid of this is to click this dismiss link and then that'll go away. Don't worry, we can bring that back and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So the dashboard really is kind of the nerve center for your WordPress website. There's all kinds of information here about what's going on in your site. And the information is grouped into blocks. And uh, the first one you'll see in the upper left-hand corner is at a glance. And this shows you how many posts and pages you have and how many comments you have and what version of WordPress you're running and what theme is installed. That's pretty much a snapshot of everything that's going on in your WordPress site. And below that, there's an activity block, and that's going to show you what the most recent activity is. That'll show you recent posts, but also recent comments. So this is a quick way to get to new comments that may need your attention. Maybe they need to be moderated. Maybe they need to be marked spam if they're unwanted comments. Uh, you'll find those right up front as soon as you log in. Over on the right, you've got a block, Quick Draft. Uh, this is really just a quick way to get some ideas uh, into WordPress before you forget them. It's sort of like a notepad. And what happens here is you can type anything you want in. And when you save, WordPress automatically creates a new post, but it sets it to draft. So that's not going to appear on your website. And you can go in later on and edit that the way you would edit any post. And you'll see a list of all of your drafts below the quick draft entry box. And that's just a quick way to capture ideas before you forget about them. Now, when you move down to the next level of boxes, things begin to get a little less essential. For example, there's a WordPress news box. You may or may not have an interest in the latest news from the WordPress world. Uh, and over on the left here, I've got something you probably won't see on your WordPress site. This is uh, the Gravity Forms status box. And the thing that I want to point out about this is that what you see on the dashboard page can be affected by what plugins you have installed. Some plugins will add widgets to this dashboard page. And you may or may not find those widgets useful. It really depends on the plugin and what you're doing with your website. So you may want to customize your dashboard to meet your needs. And fortunately, this dashboard is very customizable. It's as easy as clicking on a box, and you'll see you get the four-way cursor. And from there, I can just drag between columns and up and down to position each block where I want it to be relative to other blocks. So I want to move the quick draft under at a glance and move activity over to the right. Uh, now, what happens when you want to get rid of blocks? For example, maybe I don't want the Gravity Forms widget down here. Maybe I don't want to see WordPress news. Those are controlled under screen options. And when I click this open, I see a list of all the little widgets that have been made available to the dashboard. Some of these are built in. Some of these are created by plugins, like Gravity Forms, for example. I can turn that one off by unchecking it. Same with WordPress News. And when I scroll down, you'll see both of those blocks have been removed now. And that welcome box, I could turn that back on by clicking the checkbox there. And just like that, I've completely customized my WordPress dashboard. Now, one of the things you're going to notice as you continue to work with WordPress, as I said, plugins can install items on your dashboard automatically. So your dashboard is probably going to be changing over time. And so it's good to uh, assess the current state of your dashboard from time to time to uh, arrange things to be helpful to you so that you're focused on the things that are the most important to you and that you uh, eliminate the things that are a distraction. And you can do that by customizing your screen settings. And so that's your quick introduction to the WordPress dashboard.